everyone, how are you? I'm just gonna wait a few minutes and let everybody join. But today, we are going to be making finger painted trees. We're just gonna wait a few minutes. Hi, Gordon. How are you? Hi, everyone. Oh, I see Dominic. Um, Dominic's gonna be our buddy today that's gonna join us on this live. Today, we're making finger painted trees. So I'm so excited to make it with everyone. Um, I'm just gonna invite Dominic to join. Hi, everybody. Okay, everyone. Oh, Gordon, you're doing good. That's great. How's everyone else doing? Did everybody have a good Thanksgiving? I know I did. I had a really good Thanksgiving with my family. How's everybody liking the, uh, the weather lately? It got so cold so quickly. I don't know if anyone's feeling the same thing, but they got really cold. Hi, Julia. Yeah, it's cold. I know. All of a sudden, it's like... I got frozen like the other day. I went outside without my jacket and I thought it was going to get hypothermia or something. It was so cold. Um, but I think it's a good thing because that means fall is really here and that means winter's coming soon and I like the winter. It's very nice weather, yeah. It's nice fall weather. Um, I know, I don't know about you guys, but I was looking so forward to um, getting to paint all of these. Oh, you had a good Thanksgiving, Dominic. That's great. Um, I'm getting, was getting excited to paint all these cool, fun fall tree colors. Um, and I went to the forest yesterday and looked at all the trees. Um, but I didn't, the, uh, those trees there, they weren't changed. But the tree in my backyard, one of them, I don't know if you guys can see, it's all colored. But the other tree, all the leaves are gone, you guys. So that one normally has like really cool yellows and oranges that I wanted to show everyone. But now all the leaves are gone, so that's okay. Um, you guys can still see my red tree back there. Um, oh, it was your birthday, October 9th. Dominic, happy belated birthday. Um, Dominic, if you want to join the live, I'm just waiting for you to join the live, buddy. I tried to invite you to join. And then once you join, we're going to get started with our finger painting. So if everybody has these materials, the materials that you guys will need today are orange paint, red paint, yellow paint, and brown paint, or you can use black paint for the tree trunk. It's whatever you guys have. Um, now I have a paint brush for the tree trunk, okay? So it's a little bit of cheating on the finger painting process. Just for the trunk, we're gonna use a brush. Um, if nobody has a brush, that's okay. Um, you can also just use your finger to do some lines for the tree. Um, and I have over here, just in case anybody wants to go get them while we're waiting for Dominic to join. Uh, I see his request one second. I'm not too sure he was able to get in. Oh, just accept. Hopefully. Oh, oh perfect. Hi, Dominic. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, that's great. So you told me you don't have the supplies today, right? Yeah. Okay. That's no problem. You can still talk with me, okay? Um, do you have any art supplies? Unfortunately, I don't. That's okay. Don't worry about it. That's okay. You can just watch me, and I'll do this independently, and you can you can have fun with me on live, okay? Okay. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Good. 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 Yeah. So you had it was your birthday, October 9th. So. Right around Thanksgiving. Did you have a good birthday? Of course. Of course. Oh, that's great. Did you get to do anything fun? Uh, just hang out at home. Oh, that's good. Those are those are some of my favorite birthday memories. I'm just at home with my family. I, I'm i not too much of an out body, so I like to just stay home and have fun um, on my birthdays, too. So that sounds great. So for everyone who is going to be making the tree, what I have over here is I just have a little container of water because I'm probably going to get a little bit messy when I'm doing the finger painting. So just if you want to clean your fingers in between, I've just got some paper towel and a little container of water. So if anyone who is doing the tree wants to go grab that right now, just while I talk with Dominic, 
then you guys can go get that. Um, just because I know I didn't list that as a material, but I was thinking after, I'm like, it's probably going to get a little bit dirty. Yeah, happy belated birthday, Dominic. Did you see it? <laughs> okay, everyone. So, um, just while we wait for anyone else to join, what I'm going to start to do is just get some brown paint to start my trunk. So did you do anything else exciting for Thanksgiving, Dominic? Uh, just hang till I home and did Thanksgiving with my cousins. Ooh, very nice. Um, how old are your cousins? Uh, uh, like older than me. Older than, ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Do you like having older cousins? Of course. <laughs> of course, oh, that's good. I know on one side of my family, I am the oldest, so I've got a bunch of little ones. But on the other side, I've got two older cousins, and they're a lot older than me. They're in their 30s, and one of them just had a baby. So, oh, yeah. So, there's I've got a big family. Do you have a big family too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay. So, everyone, for everyone who's starting with the tree, all I've done is I just put a little bit of brown paint. Now, a little goes a long way. I think I still put maybe too much. Okay. So I've got my paintbrush and I've got my brown paint. I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush into the brown paint and about a third way through my paper, I'm just gonna create a thick line, okay? So I see Gordon's here in the chat. I see everyone, hi everybody. So all we're doing today is we're making a finger painted tree. Now, I'm not always the greatest artist. Dominic, I don't know about you, but I'm going to try not okay. either. Okay, that's okay, right? So if you ever are able to make this, don't worry if you're struggling a little bit. So everyone, we're just doing a line to start the trunk, okay? So I put it around halfway through my paper, just a straight line going up, okay? And we can make it thicker after, but we're going to start to do some lines going out different directions for our branches right because if you guys everyone sees trees they got quite a bit of branches so i would find when i was younger and i was a little kid and every time i would make a tree i don't know about you dominic or even sometimes i still make my trees this way i just do a line and then a circle and that would be my tree but then i find when we do branches it looks so much more realistic i don't know about you what do you think dominic i think i think it I think it's going to look good. You think it's going to look good? Hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm just doing a few lines to make some branches here. So I've started like this. I'm just doing some lines out of my trunk. Okay, everybody? Yeah. Um, so do you, what's your favorite season, Dominic? Every season. Every season. Oh, that's good. Now, I used to love summer. I think I used to love summer because I didn't have school. So now that I'm there and I'm working in the summer, I think my favorite season is the fall. I think my favorite. I think my favorite season is probably winter because I get to go ice fishing and everything. Ooh, ooh you go ice fishing? I've never went ice fishing before, but I've always wanted to try. Is it cool? It is. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. So, what do you like about ice fishing? What's your favorite? I just like to sit there and try and try getting the fish. Ooh, very, very cool. Are you good at getting the fish? Not really. Not really. That's okay. I don't think I would be either. But um, who do you go ice fishing with? I go ice fishing with my dad. Ah, that sounds like so much fun. So just everyone for the tree. This is what I've been doing. Okay. So I did a line, and I'm just doing diagonal lines going out my tree, and then from the top of my trunk line, okay? So then I'm just starting to add a little bit more. You can do as many branches as you want or as little branches as you want. It's all good. Even if you wanna be like me when I was younger and just make a tree with a line and then a bunch of finger painted dots all around in a big circle, that's good too, okay? So just trunk and then some lines coming out. So when you go ice fishing with your dad, Dominic, um, have you been able to catch like any really cool fish before? No, 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 never. What about your dad? Is he a good ice fisher? 
He is, but it's the same no fish we all get. You don't get much fish? No, that's okay. Is it just like a good bonding experience then? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Aw, that's great. Is there anything else you like to do in the wintertime? Uh, uh, I like to go snowmobiling. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. You're, you're good with outdoor sports. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, um so... Uh, now, in the winter, I'm not, my family's not as outdoorsy as I'd like to be. Um, so in the winter, the most I'll do is, like, I'll try and skate, but I never actually learn to skate. So every time I skate, I just fall, and I, like, I wipe myself out. Uh, but I like to go tobogganing. Do you like to go tobogganing? Yes, I do. You do? Oh, that, that's great. Okay, so I think... I've got enough branches going on here. I don't know, Dominic. You think I should add any, or you think this is good for now? Looks good for now. Looks good for now? Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave this here like this. And for everyone who is doing the finger paint to tree, you just want to let this dry for a few minutes, okay? Because what's going to happen is once you start to do your finger painted dots, it can kind of smudge the paint. So you may want to let it dry just for a few minutes. Um, I think I'm just going to extend maybe a few of my branches out a little bit wider so I can do go a little bit nuts with my, with my, with my leaves just because I like color and I don't want it to be a sad leafless tree like behind me, guys. So sad. I was so excited because last week on Thanksgiving, the colors were beautiful. I'm telling you, they were like oranges and yellows and reds and it was huge. And then now they're all gone. So that's okay. That's okay. I know if I go into a forest or something, I might see the trees. Do you like look, watching the trees change colors? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. What about everyone else in the live? Does anyone else like watching the leaves change colors? I think that's one of my, my favorite parts about the fall. Hi, everybody who's joining. We're just making our finger painted tree. Dominic doesn't have the supplies today, but that's okay. And um, he's just being my friend on live and talking with us. Um, this is what we've done so far. Oh, hi, Charlene. Good morning. Hi, everyone. So this is what we've done so far. So if everyone is just catching up, I just did a straight brown line, okay, from my bottom, a thick line, and then I just went diagonally and did some diagonal lines going out, okay? So just some diagonal lines going out to make the branches. So you can make the branches however you like, how thick you like, how thin you like. Every tree is beautiful. So however you want, even no branches, that's okay too, okay? So just some diagonal lines going out, and I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes, okay? So Dominic, I'm going to let you pick which color you want me to do first for the finger paint. Do you want me to do red, yellow, or orange? Orange. Orange. Ooh, nice. I like orange. What's your favorite color? Uh, uh every color. Every color? Oh, that's great. Ooh. I don't know, maybe I need to shake. Maybe everyone needs to shake their paint because I'm gonna show you guys. It gave me a weird looking like mix of blob there. This kind of looks a little funny, but it's okay. Maybe we should shake our paints first. That's a pro tip for everyone. Um, let's see, does this look better now? Ah, oh, look how much better that consistency looks. We have this blob beside it and then that one looks a little better. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry for two more minutes. Um, what's your favorite part about fall, Dominic? Uh, uh, just probably taking pictures of the different color uh, trees. Ah, that sounds like so much fun. Do you have any cool pictures? Of course. Yeah, yeah from this year, did you take any pictures of the trees yet? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Oh, that's great. What about everyone else? Um, did anyone else get to? Take any pictures of the trees. I used to, actually, I should take some more pictures of the trees because tree colors, they're beautiful. Every time, I was walking by a forest yesterday and I, I look by and it was like stunning everywhere, the trees. So I think I like tree colors too. Okay, so I think my tree looks kind of dry. What do you think? It's dry enough? What? Yeah. You think it looks good? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, now I'm going to get a little messy, so I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I don't want to get paint all over my shirt. But who knows? Knowing me, I'm kind of clumsy, and I kind of I make a mess everywhere I go. So we might get a little messy today, and that's okay because it's fun to get messy. I'm just going to take my finger, 
put it in the orange paint, which I'm starting with. And around the branches, I'm just gonna go nuts with it. Have as much fun as you want. Everyone watching, Dominic, if you're making this later, you can go crazy, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna go to some finger painting. So I'm starting at my branches and I'm building off of it, okay? So I'm starting here. I'm just going about, I'm starting at the branches and then I'm gonna start to make it wider as I go along, okay? Just so everyone sees. Have you ever done any finger painting before, Dominic? No, I haven't. Uh, you should try it, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, you should. It's so much fun to finger paint. Because I find, me, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So when I try and do art and stuff, I want it to look a certain way. I want it to be perfect. But I find when I'm finger painting, I can just go ham. I can just go crazy. I can do whatever I like, be as creative as I want. And I find it's a little, little bit, it's a little less pressure. Because you just get to be unique. Yep. Yeah. Now on Thanksgiving, I know in our last live, everyone was talking about their favorite Thanksgiving food. Do you have a th favorite Thanksgiving food? Probably the turkey and the stuffing and everything. Oh, delicious. I really like the stuffing too. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's the only time of the year I really get stuffing. Yeah. But I like, I could go crazy. Me but Everyone is having fun finger painting their dots, just doing any, I don't know, just to show you guys, doing any dots as I go along. Do you think this is enough orange or should I do a little more? Uh, uh, that's enough. That's enough? Okay. So let's pause on the orange and then what color do you think next? Yellow or red? Red. Red, okay. So what, I'm gonna shake. We're doing our pro tips. We're shaking our paint first to make sure there's no I don't even know what that was that came out of it. Maybe glue, but I don't know why there's glue and it was white. So it was like a funny looking. I just did a little blob of red because we know a little goes a long way and I still waste a little bit too much paint, but that's okay. And I'm just now to clean my finger a little bit. I'm just in my water bucket. This is my, my little pro tip for everyone and just Rinse it off. Now, or you can use a different finger, or you can even mix the orange with the red, but I don't want to get too messy today. So I think that's good. Um, now, is there any cool fall activities that anyone's been doing? Dominic, did you get to do anything? Uh, just been going up to our cottage. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, is there a lot of really pretty leaves around your cottage? Yes, there is. Ah, lucky. That sounds great. Okay, everyone. So I'm just adding in my red dots. I'm just going all about my leaves again. You can do as many as you like, as little as you like. And I'm just having fun with it now. I'm just adding them in everywhere. Add some definition. How's everyone been doing? Has everyone been doing good? Is everyone enjoying the weather? For fall, do you like this weather, Dominic, or do you prefer like colder weather? Uh, I like this weather. You like this weather? Yeah. How about you? I like this weather too. I find I like. Ooh, Ian loves taking her dogs for walks. So it's not too. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's what I was just just about to say. I find it's nicer to go like on long walks in the fall because in the winter it's a little bit too cold, and then I'm like kind of freezing. Like I can do it, but I don't know. I'm like I'm like shivering a little bit. In the summer, then I'm sweating. But like in the fall, it's nice. You can wear a sweater. You can like go out. You can, I don't know, I like to drink a coffee on my walks. Nice. Probably not too good for me, but. Oh. Okay, I love coffee. Coffee. It's my guilty pleasure. So I've just added in my red finger paint. All about. My tree is starting to come together, I think. I don't know about everyone else if they're having fun making their trees, but this is what they got so far. Do you think it needs more red or you think? I think that looks good. You think that looks good? Okay, perfect. So 
Now it's time for the yellow. So I'm just going to rinse my finger again. You don't need to rinse your finger, but I'm going to rinse my finger again. And now we've got the yellow. Now I'm happy that you actually picked yellow as the last because it's my one that has the least amount of paint in it. So um, hopefully we can just add some to add some definition. But I think, as we know, a little goes a long way. I don't need, actually, no, I still have plenty for the yellow. Never mind. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite type of color that the trees turn? Uh, when you're looking uh, orange and red. Orange and red. Yeah. The yellow, yellows are nice, but the oranges and red, they're bright, right? Yeah. I agree with you there. What about everyone else? Does everyone else like the trees that change colors? Anyone have any favorite colors of the trees? Or do people just like the green trees? Maybe nobody... Maybe they don't like the colors changing for the fall. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I love. But I'm really, I like colorful things. Anyway, even when I was a little kid, I'm going to tell you something. When I was a little kid, on my math tests, I would like, when I would finish early, I would go and I would like color code things. So I'd like, like add different colors into my tests. And my teacher would be like, Veronica. Why are you taking so long to do your test? I'm like, I'm coloring. I, I find a sneaky way, a sneaky way to add some color, to have some fun, even while doing math, even while doing a math test. I was an interesting kid, but I've always had so much fun doing that. I don't know. I think when my teacher liked it, they, would say they liked my color coding, but only if I finished early. If I didn't finish early, I would still do my math, but I don't know. <laughs> um, ooh. Everyone else, Gordon likes red and brown leaves. Ah, oh, very nice, Gordon. And Eden, oh, she loves the leaves, but she hates raking them. I agree. I agree, Eden, but, but I do like playing in the leaves. I don't know about you. Dominic, do you like playing in leaves? Have you ever been in jump? I think I did it once. You think you did once? Yeah. I know I haven't played in the leaves, really, for some, quite some time, but. Now, this is what. My tree's looking like so i think i think it looks pretty good what do you think looks great looks great yeah i hope everyone's having a lot of fun with their trees now i'm just gonna add a little bit more and i'm gonna be a little funky i don't want to waste too too much paint so i'm gonna on my finger just do a few different colors and just a little bit of each just to get a few multicolored leaves because you know some leaves yes they're yellow. Some leaves, yes, are orange. Some leaves, yes, are red. But some have a, a little bit of definition in them. That's what I'm going to do. Just to add a little bit more. Have a little bit more fun because I'm having fun with you. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully, you're having fun too. Are you having fun too? Yes, I am. Yes. Do I? That's good. I hope everyone else is having fun too. Ooh, I kind of like it. It kind of looks a little more abstractly mix a few of the colors together. This is what we got going on. Now, Dominic, even if you don't have paint at home and you want to try and make one another day, and this goes for everyone, if you have like a bingo dabber, those are so much fun too. I don't know about everyone else, but like if you bingo, oh, I would go crazy. I would go crazy. I remember when in, I, when I was in elementary school, so that was quite some time ago, but when I was in elementary school, they had bingo night at my school, and we would get bingo dabbers, and I would always make my mom buy extra bingo dabbers, because then I would, like, go crazy. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. So if you want to make a tree, too, you don't even need paint. You can use a marker to do a straight line, do your branches, and now everyone knows. To make leaves, leaves, I find, like, just drawing the shape or painting the shape, it's a little difficult, right? It's not... It's not always the easiest, but finger painting, bingo dabbing, even just like making little circles with a marker can be so much fun. I don't know about you, Dominic. Do you like making arts and crafts like that? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite activity to do? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> what's my favorite. Do you have a favorite fall activity? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Have you ever been in Patch? 
What's that? Have you ever been to a pumpkin patch? Yes, I yes. have. Yes, you have. Do you like going to the pumpkin patch? Of course. Of course. Oh, that's great. What about apple picking? Yeah. You went, yeah? Oh, I love apple picking, too. Apple picking is so much fun. I like pumpkin patches, too, but I find, I don't know, sometimes the pumpkins are heavy, and then I'm, like, trying to lift up, a, and I always like the really big one. So if I'm trying to get a pumpkin, and you can actually take, sometimes you can take the pumpkins. I always try and get the really big one, and then I'm struggling. But with the apples, apples are they're a little easier. Yep. Um, what about everyone else? Does everyone else like going to pumpkin patches or apple picking? For anyone who's just joining, we've been making our finger painted tree. All we did is really simple. Just got some brown with our paintbrush. You really need a paintbrush. If you don't have one, you can use your finger just to do some lines. Just going, making some brown lines for my tree. And then I got my three different colors. I just made some dots all around it. So this is our tree so far. And oh, are you going to pay, uh, carve any pumpkins, Dominic? Uh, I see Eden. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Um, what's your favorite type of face to carve on the pumpkin? Any. any. Any? Do you like more scarier ones or more silly ones or like really anything? Just everything. Everything? Ah, that's great. I know one year I made, I tried to make a cat out of it. Didn't really go too well. Didn't go too well. But then another year I made like this really like, like shocked face and that went well. That went nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, everyone. So. This is our tree so far. This is it. I don't know. Do you guys think, is there anything else I should add? Or do you guys think I'm done? I think that's it. I think that's it too. So I hope everyone had a lot of fun making these. I know I did. And it's been so nice meeting you, Dominic. Um, okay. Hopefully, hopefully you can join me in another live because it's been really nice talking to you. Um, so nice talking to everyone in the chat. Um, I hope everyone has a great fall so far and has been having a great fall. I don't know. Have you been having a great fall? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's great. So I hope everyone has a great fall. I hope you continue to have a great fall. And um, I know next week, um, I know next week, I think I'm going to be going live with Gordon. So hopefully I'll see you in the chat next week, Dominic. All right. Um, okay. So it was great meeting you, buddy. And it was great meeting everyone else in the chat or seeing everyone else again. Um, and I hope Everyone likes this tree, so I'm just going to hold this up so everyone can see. And I hope everyone had a lot of fun. Okay, so thank you, everyone, for joining, and thank you so much for joining me on this live, Dominic. You were a great sport, even though I know you didn't have the things, but it was really nice talking to you, buddy. Nice talking to you, too. Okay, bye, bye everyone. See. Bye, thank you. See you next Wednesday, uh, next Tuesday, Gordon. Bye, everyone. Bye.